Hello, hello, beautiful souls. This is Esther, also known as Schmexy Pants. Welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a little bit of a guidance message for this Mercury retrograde. Um, I know some of you might already be feeling it, um, electronics glitching, um, miscommunications, maybe feeling tired. You know, I'm not an astrologer, but I do know my own experiences with Mercury retrograde is oftentimes they're very transformative for the better, um, but sometimes that can have some discomfort in it. But I thought I would do a little bit of a collective message today for what kind of things we can watch out for, uh, look forward to maybe, um, you know, what guidance would help us. So if you like these types of videos, please like, share, subscribe. It really does help the channel and it helps me to know which videos to make. So let's get into it. What messages would serve us? What guidance do we need to know going forward for this Mercury, Mercury retrograde phase? Okay, let's take all of these. Yeah, so I feel like with this Page of Pentacles and this Hangman Reverse, it's kind of like ideas are good to be kind of put out there right now but it's slow moving energy and there's a call to kind of think of things in different ways you know some of the time when there are these retrogrades the big thing is like reevaluating, rethinking redoing so it's kind of like if you've had this idea or things that you want to come to fruition whether it's work love family life whatever there's going to be a need to kind of take that time to evaluate what you truly want in it. Um, I think it's going to be important to see things clearly and for what they are, as opposed to this like idealized sense of it. So what else can we have? Yeah, so these messages keep coming through about this, the Six of Swords and Six of Spades, just, it's been coming through pretty much every day in my readings. I think it's kind of like once you can give yourself that kind of mental clarity um, and understand why the storms have happened, you know, what you've learned about yourself, there will be new beginnings. I'm really noticing this kind of paddle that this figure is using. Um, it's giving me like really big Ace of Wands vibes. I think like once you've kind of almost set those boundaries with yourself and, and moved away from kind of either idealized views or like negativity or just past situations that weren't serving you that's when you'll have those passionate new beginnings where you'll feel inspired where you'll have that fire again um you know it won't be so slow moving after that um but there's a need kind of to look at things for what they are um yeah, because these new beginnings, they do want to come in. They, they are going to be quite beautiful. It's just kind of like with the Nine of Swords and Temperance Reverse, I feel like it's just kind of been this almost like ruminating on worst case scenarios um, and catastrophizing, which has come up too. And so there's going to be a call to really heal that um, over this next time, to set your sights higher again, to look at things... Oops, can't get pick this up. Um, to look at things from a higher perspective, you know, things happen for a reason, not to come kill you. And obviously, like for trauma, I'm not saying that we deserve some of the bad things that happen, but it's to teach us about ourselves and what our needs or wants are, and also to teach us what's no good. But also, it's like where have you been giving your energy that you know maybe you should be taking more time. For yourself to evaluate those things but again on the other side we also have the lovers so this is actually a sixth year and this is being ushered in but i'm really noticing this figure looking up to the heavens you know while the other figure looks to them and i think that it's going to be really important to stand in your faith and when you're feeling confused looking to your your source you know uh, whether you you believe in this that or other it's going to be really important to kind of get back into that grounding, that meditation, that really self-reflecting. I think I think reflection is really the biggest piece that I'm getting for this retrograde. On the bottom of the deck, yeah, we have death. So again, beginnings, endings, moving forward. I'm noticing again this flower up here. 
um, and even like the sun down there. I think sometimes painful endings lead to the most beautiful beginnings. And I think that in this sense, it's truly more of an ego death is really what I'm getting. Um, expecting things to happen on your timeline, but maybe not putting in the work to make it happen or, you know, releasing your ideas of what something should be or should look like, I think is going to be really important. Um, yeah, because it's almost like there's this waiting energy and impatience, but there's no need. Like for some of your blessings, would you rather have something kind of good now that, you know, is unsustainable or would you rather have something long term, really steady and wonderful but that takes a little bit more time. And I mean, everybody is different, but I feel like really kind of knowing what your wants and needs are will help the, gain that clarity for you because maybe you do want the instant gratification, but I feel like for most people, long-term success, whether again, health, family, relationships, um, career, it's it's almost like, I think, think for the long-term, not for the short-term, and that will support you more. So I want to pull a couple more messages. So what other messages would support us through the Mercury retrograde? What kind of things do we have to look forward to actually during this retrograde other than just, you know, getting clearer on our values? Yeah. Okay. So some of the things that are being highlighted now is more of a trusting of intuition, walking away from anything that is not serving, um, but knowing that that will bring clarity. So, I mean, again, I think it's just kind of a reiteration of what I was saying, but sometimes that's really important. I'm really noticing this king of clubs and also six here again. Again, six, the lovers is that year or sorry, is the 2020 is a six year as well. And then King of Clubs. So King of Clubs, very passionate, um, King of Wands, you know, energy after there's been kind of this walking away. And again, I do think it's uh, walking away from like limiting beliefs that don't serve you. I think it would be really good when you have um, your limiting beliefs kind of inverting it. So, you know, oh, why can't I do anything right? you know, turn that into what's right about me that I'm not seeing. I actually made a whole deck of questions basically like to shift paradigm. So I think it'd be really important to work with your beliefs and see which ones are helping you and which ones are not in achieving your goal. And then trusting your intuition that you can move forward from it. Um, on the bottom of the deck, yeah, this is being ushered in <laughs> to bring stability. And that's so nice. We just had that king of clubs, that fiery energy, that passionate energy. But then here we have king of hearts, so king of cups. That's really more um, compassionate energy. And I feel like it's compassion for self, compassion for others, stability, um, you know, for the long term. Again, I think, I think that that's what we have to look forward to coming out of this retrograde. I want to see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, because it's almost like there's, there's this passion, but for too many things that it's scattered, the needing to kind of release those, um, the burdens that I see, 10 of clubs, 10 of wands, releasing that mental burden of having to be everything to everyone or, or to do everything by yourself. And again, I'm noticing one plus five is six. So again, that six year, I think being vulnerable with yourself and others, you know, maybe without oversharing, like trust your inner guidance on this, is going to be really supportive. I want to pull one more Lenormand card as kind of our overarching what message, what service for this metric. That one kind of came out. Yeah. <laughs> again, faith. Um, faith. And oh, again, like six of clubs, like victor victorious kind of times coming out of this. Um, but also like if you're feeling burdened, I would say, turn it over to a higher power. And what I mean by that is, if you're religious or believe, you know, in God, you can pray. 
If you don't, you can do some writing and kind of stream of consciousness stuff, see, see what comes through. Um, I feel like asking your higher self, asking your guides for messages right now will be really supportive in helping you get through this phase if you're struggling. And if you're not struggling, it will help you just kind of reaffirm that um, you're on the right path. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that you have the most beautiful day.